Hey guys, welcome to another video. So there are three images on the screen. You guys should intuitively allow yourselves to be guided to one of the images. Of course, you can choose another pile, but allow yourself first to just be guided to one of the images. You can do this by connecting your body, your mind, and your spirit. Take three deep breaths to connect yourself, and from there you can choose intuitively. I hope the message that's meant to find you finds you, and I'll see you guys in the pile selection. Bye! Hello, pile number one. Welcome to or back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So we're just going to get straight into the message. So the first card is guidance, but where will it lead you? The other card says it's time for a treat. You see clearly clairvoyance. So what is your reputation, pile number one? First of all, this pile, I feel like a lot of people recognize you as someone who is super powerful, as someone who is going to influence, whether it's something small or whether it's something big, you have some sort of influence over other people here, but it's due to your wisdom and it's also due to your ability and power to be by yourself. I feel, especially with this water here, a lot of you guys, people may call you mature or some of you guys could actually be mature, I just feel like there's a lot of, you guys have a lot of ancient wisdom within you. So there may be things that like, you know, and I feel like there could even be like people that get insecure by this or people that get turned off by this. Some people, okay, like some people, especially older people may call you a know-it-all, but it really, it roots in jealousy because there's a lot of things that you guys know. And I see you guys being able to stand alone as well. And I feel like, you know, there may be people that try to come into your life and they're trying to say like, here, this is what you can do and this is advice you can take. And you're like, I already knew that. I already knew that. And they may take it the wrong way. They may feel like you're being cocky, whatever it is. Um, and I, I think that some of these people, they try to make it seem like you don't know what it is that you're doing or you don't know where it is that you're going, but you guys make it work regardless. And so they may be irritated because some people may try to help you guys some people may try to help you guys but a lot of you guys may also like run from the help or you're just not very accepting of everyone's help i also see that a lot of people end up looking for you i don't know why i'm hearing flo millie's song she's like heard that they was looking for me well bitch i'm in my bag so i don't know if any of you guys are just someone here who you don't really need a lot of attention from uh, from all these other people some of you guys may be someone who's very spiritual here, so you know that extra attention just brings negativity. Some of you guys may have that inner knowing, like you need to you need to protect yourself. Some of you guys may be like super heavy when it comes super heavy on protecting yourself spiritually, and I feel like people recognize that. So, yeah, you guys have a reputation for possibly being someone who is super intuitive. I feel like there's, you may have like, conf you may confront people on things where it's like you shouldn't have known that, the, that certain things have happened, okay? So it may be like intuitive like messages or feelings that you get to cut someone off or to block someone after they talk about you or after they do something to you. But it's like you don't, you may have not seen them talk about you. Of course, that could, that could also just be an example, but I just feel like there's people who, it's like this shock of like, how did they know that that's what I meant? Or how did they know that's what I was doing? Or how did they know that was me? 
so I don't know I hope that that makes sense but it could be people um with fake accounts whatever the case is I don't even think that it's a spiritual thing too some of these people just may honestly slip up but some of you guys could also be very spiritual here but some things are just very obvious some things are just very obvious um, when it comes to like people being fake to you or people making fake accounts or trying to talk about you or whatever. They're just not that obvious or they're not that low. They're not that, um, I'm trying to find another word, but. So yeah, I do feel a lot of people do recognize you as someone that's very sweet. Even though you have all of this, like it, I think like oh, I gotta get that card but I think your sweetness may be like kind of even a burden on you like you're in the past you could have been too nice to where this it's changed you some of the things from the past has changed you I feel like people that is your reputation of someone who is very kind but it's like this kindness isn't given to everyone and it's like this strength if that makes sense like it's very hard for me to explain but people see you as like this very sweet loving person but you have very strong boundaries and you're very very guided very guided spiritually so and this could be why like it's like your spiritual team they may want to protect you or they may need to protect you this could also be people in your life as well Okay, so, yeah, but I feel that um, a lot of people definitely see you as very kind here, very sweet, but there's also something different about your energy, so I feel like it's like you spend your energy sparingly. I feel like when people get to be around you, it genuinely is a treat, like, you genuinely really light up a room when people deserve that side of you. So let's get some more cards though but yeah i feel like you pick up on a lot of things too so there may be family members or friends or people that trust you a lot they may come to you asking you for advice or asking you did you see that or whatever the case is it's like also you guys may be someone who can pick up on weird energy or who can pick up on a lot of weird things and you call things out way before other people do so you could be that type of person that's like, I know that person's fake, you need to watch out for them. And you know, your friends may not believe you at first, but they're proven, they, like they're made to believe you. I don't even wanna say made, cause you don't force anyone to do anything I feel, but like they, they believe you. And I feel like because of how right you've been when it comes to most things, a lot of people really do trust you. I feel like also people may see you as very um, grateful, like, I just see a very strong spiritual connection here. So you guys may, like, understand that gratitude brings about more abundance or the energy that you embody brings more abundance. So if you embody the energy of gratitude, there's more reasons. The universe will give you more reasons to be grateful, to, to express gratitude. So, yeah, this is the card that came out again. So I'm seeing a lot of sweet vibes here. Um, a lot of sweet energy from you but this is also showing me that people have taken your sweetness or taken this for granted people have possibly lied to you people have possibly manipulated you and i feel like it's because of that so you may have a reputation of holding grudges if, like against these specific people maybe your energy has changed now you're definitely in your power here but it's like a lot of people want you to let go of what happened in the past or they want you to forget about certain things um you have a reputation for holding on to the things that people have said or did to you 
but it's yeah so let's get some more cards to see what else I actually want to get all the cards out first So yeah, a lot of people, yeah, this also says know what's best for you. So again, I really do feel a lot of people feel like you or you have this reputation for not even really needing anyone. Like with this, you see clearly, it's like you don't need anyone else's advice. You see things very clearly here. And I feel like people could have tried to give you advice or people could have tried to tell you like, this is what you should be doing or this is a better option. And they could have even projected failure onto you and it didn't happen. And it's like, you are, you are truly someone that proves other people wrong. I see that you guys really work in silence here, but there's also this, you guys have a reputation. I feel like some of you guys could be in hermit mode right now. Um, this is really the energy I'm, I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone who's kind of isolated. So you guys could be in hermit mode and you could have this reputation of like, um, like you're not the same person, but no one knows yet. Like it's still like this waiting for like something to be revealed or waiting for you to be revealed or waiting for this glow up. But it, people are certain that you're going to have some sort of glow up or people are certain that you're going to win regardless. So I feel this could also be the people that you cut off or the people that you are holding a grudge against that have this um, belief. But it's also like you've proven them wrong so many times before. You've also proven the people that support you, right? So it's like, yeah, I feel like there's just some sort of huge change that's about to happen for you. And a lot of people, this is kind of weird because I know that I want to talk about your reputation, but I feel like some of you guys are creating that right now. So there could be someone that you were in the past that you're no longer. And it's like, you're just creating something. You're creating yourself. So let's get a few more cards to see what else we're picking up on. So it's time to release negativity. Definitely a lot of Scorpio energy. Hold your vision here. Let's get some more cards. What reputation? Be bold and make the first move. Yeah, so with this be bold and make the first move, that's a very clear message that I'm getting from your spirit guides is like, you are someone who is very like bold or like you, it's not even like, it's like you're not done. It's not like you're just making decisions just because whatever YOLO, but it's like you're, you have this inner guidance, this inner knowing, especially with this follow your own advice being the card that's coming out to clarify it. It's like you trust yourself. So you have this boldness, but it's because you are into, you are divinely guided. And a lot of people may, they may see you in their eyes. They may feel like, oh my God, this person's bold or they're just doing this or they're just making that. I would never have the, I would never do this. I would never do that. And it works for you because in some of you guys, you don't even go into things expecting or anticipating negativity. You just go into things reacting. You just act based off of what you're being intuitively called to do. And that always, it pays off for you. It works off well. And so I feel like that's what a lot of people are seeing. A lot of people are picking up on that. And a lot of people are like, damn damn so i really feel that a lot of you guys take to let this take time to breathe breathe out here a lot of you guys are like what's the word that i'm looking for you understand when to like when to go within or when to go into hermit mode especially because i'm seeing the scorpio too like you guys know when to go undercover or like when to just take some time to release anything that isn't serving you or whatever the case is like i feel like you just have this very like i i'm seeing patience here i'm seeing patience here and wisdom 
but like I feel like because you guys take that time to connect with your spirit team to connect with your breath to connect with your higher self when it comes to the decisions that you make it just works I also feel like some people may see you as someone who is very spiritual though someone who really knows how to like meditate and find those answers through spirituality but yeah you guys are someone who is very very you trust yourself and you trust your spiritual team and you have such a blind faith that a lot of people see that and a lot of people have seen like you said that you're going to do something you do it you say that you're going to get something done and you say that something's going to manifest for you and it does and people see that people know that it's 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 going to happen like there's this like it's going to happen I also feel though you are very quick to cut anybody or anything out of your life that is not serving you or that is give, like adding negativity to your life. You if, you, if you have to, you'll walk alone. If, you, if these friends, if these people are in your life and they're creating conflict or they're confusing you, or again, they're making promises that they can't keep, they're doing things that they can't keep them or that they can't, they're doing things that just don't serve you in, in this situation in your relationship, then it's just time to go. And that's how you feel about a lot of things. Let's get some more cards. I hate how these cards shuffle sometimes. Okay, so the, the first card that I'm seeing is the Six of Wands. I'm trying to figure out where I should put it. <laughs> Six of Wands. I'm feeling the, as though you guys are someone, again, these situations, they did put you through a lot of stuff I'm seeing. These friendships, whatever the case is, these people that promised a lot of things to you that they couldn't, made promises that they couldn't keep, all of that. It's really turned you in, I'm hearing like, wait, fuck, I, I forget the lyrics. But like, I'm just feeling like it just turned... Wait, um, been through some bad shit, I should be a savage. Who would have thought it turned me to a savage? So I just feel like in the past, and a lot of people really underestimated you. A lot of people did not think that this is who you would become because you could have been too passive or there was just something here of you going, there could have also just been a lot of dark things that have happened in your life or that have happened in your past. But a lot of people, you have this reputation of someone who completely like, you don't even identify with that shit anymore. You don't even identify with that past shit anymore. Like that is something that is completely of the past and that is something that you'll never have to look back on. So that's what people, a lot of people are picking up on and a lot of people are seeing. And a lot of people are, there's some people that are also admiring it, but the reason why you got into this position to be in this, to be the six of wands is because of all the work that you did, because of all of the negativity that you released, because of all the darkness, but it's like release that negativity. It's like with the six of wands, you also release the people that were dimming your light too. Wait, there was something else that I was really picking up on, so I'm so sad that I lost what I was picking up on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get one card and it's not trying to freaking work for me. Okay, so we have the knight or, oh, that's the king of wands. Sorry. So yeah, you guys definitely have more authority within your life here. Yeah, so justice i'm just gonna put the justice card upright because it doesn't matter either way um there's only a few cards in tarot that it doesn't matter which way it comes out honestly so with this though i'm feeling as though you guys you're someone who is like getting your justice at this point in time this is the rep reputation that you've had you have a, the reputation of like like things just changing it's like your past is black and your future is white it's like there's just this strong like huge difference between what it is that you've gone through and it's like a lot of people see you as someone who is very blessed and I don't know I wish I can tell you guys one of the stories of like someone who's like getting bullied and someone who's just gone through so much hell and then they're like a winner or something and they just like I'm sure you guys have seen the movie I'm sure you guys know that archetype but that is the archetype that you guys fit that's the reputation that you guys have of things just working out for you I also feel like um certain people could have tried to send things your way 
certain people could have tried to send negativity your way especially when you were in this passive type of energy but it's like you were divinely protected and i feel like a lot of people are feeling that energy now because your guides could be someone it could be your guides that's sending something you're um sending other things to the people that are trying to get in the way of your success that are trying to get in the way of your abundance and it's like there's just no no point in doing that but yeah you're someone here where there's a lot of people from your past that see you in this in this amazing light right now and yeah it's just like damn it's this embarrassment so that's the reputation you have making shit shake whatever cards you were dealt you turned that shit into gold okay you turned what it, like i'm hearing midas touch so yeah and then i'm also seeing the freaking devil card come out reverse plus the tower card so this is very shocking to a lot of people again with that releasing negativity with that devil card coming out reversed the queen of wands too i feel like you guys have a reputation for definitely being attractive here looking very good but you guys are someone who is very passionate and someone who is in complete control right now you have control do not doubt that you have in like complete control over your entire life over your entire situation and i'm just seeing like nobody's gonna be testing you especially no one from your past with this new start here there's a lot of abundance here it's almost like people feeling the need to kiss your ass like you were someone like this person is special type of vibe and it's like i need this person to be on my be by me or like i i'm gonna be on my best behavior to keep this person around like that's how people feel about you so you have this reputation for when you walk into a room it's like you own that room and it may be even silent too maybe this silent conference where a lot of people you have like this People are drawn to you. People are drawn to you. People want to talk to you. People want to connect with you. People want to work with you. But yeah, that's really the vibe that I'm seeing. I see like a very powerful person here that's very attractive, that has a very magnetic quality. And this could have been created. This may not have always been the case. You could have had to create this for yourself. So if this resonated, comment the emoji on the screen down below. Thank you guys so much for making it to this point of the video. <laughs> I appreciate every single last one of you guys so much. And I hope you have an amazing day, night, or afternoon. I don't know why I always say the order is so weird. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to our back to my channel. So we're just gonna get straight into these messages and see what your reputation is. What's your reputation? What is your reputation, pile number two? Okay, pile number two. So some of you guys, especially because I accidentally, and I just felt so called to pull another card for you guys, even though I was only supposed to pull one. So I feel like some of you guys, people may feel like you're extra 
And I'm saying that because of also the other cards that I have. But it's not even in a bad way. Some people don't like it. Other people do. If they think you're extra, then that just means that they're too less. You know, they don't have enough or they're not enough. Not really. I don't want to come for anybody, but you get what I mean. So there's definitely a little bit of haters. But I feel like for the most part, a lot of people admire you. And a lot of people see you as somebody who like, you may have your own sense of style here. You may have your own sense of like, it's, I just feel like there's a strong individual. Like you guys are known as a strong individual here. So you also may be able to like, I'm seeing a lot of stuff about dressing here and about makeup and about looks. So some of you guys could be the types of person to put on a lot of looks here. I feel like there's also some people that like look forward to seeing what it is that you're gonna wear or they look forward to seeing like what eye makeup you're gonna do. Um, this could either be on social media or this could be like in person here. But I feel like people look, people actually do like it. People actually do look look forward to seeing that. I feel like there's a lot of people that see like Oof. I'm sorry, I'm getting so many, so much energy from this specific pile. I don't know why I'm getting so much energy from this pile. But, um, yeah, like, I just think that you have a reputation for, like, walking in a room and it's just, like, lightning. Like, it's just, like, intense energy from you. But it's because of, like, the way that you dress. Some of you guys could be very, very attractive. Like, you may, you may underestimate how attractive you are. Um, but a lot of you guys are attractive and this is why, like... It's just like, it just works so well. Um, I also feel like some people, you, some of you guys could have had a huge glow up. Um, I don't mean this in a bad way, but this could have been like, you know the story of like the swan or like the gray swan that turned into the beautiful swan, whatever, <laughs> that type of vibe here. Where it's like, some of you guys could have really started focusing on yourself. And some of y'all just really leveled up here. Like I feel like that's the reputation that you had. Some of you guys could have lost a lot of weight. I don't know why I heard that specifically, but some of y'all could have lost a lot of weight. Where it's just like, this glow up is real. Whatever glow up you have is real for somebody. So, yeah though. I feel like you were somebody, like, you have, you have a lot of fucking authority. This is someone who's like very, very powerful. Like, you're gonna speak your mind. You're gonna say what's on your chest. You do not give a shit. Some people may feel like you have multiple personalities that's not for all of you or some people may feel like a it could go zero to a hundred with your energy i don't know why I'm, I'm getting so much like the way i would describe you loki is like Nicki minaj how she's like very she speaks her mind you know i feel like there's some people that are definitely intimidated by you so some of you guys may be someone that has to walk alone or you're just around your family or something here but you walk alone and it's like damn I also feel this is the black sheep. I'm sorry to say this, but you stand out when it comes compared to all of your family members. Like compared to all these family members, you are the one here that has made some shit shake. You are the one here. You could your family could be like conservative or maybe not conservative. Maybe it's not full on conservative, but I feel like the way that you dress, the way that you carry yourself, nobody in your family does this. Nobody in your family is doing what you're doing. Nobody in your family has the job that you have. Nobody in your family is doing this. So I'm seeing that um your energy is powerful and um i feel like you have a reputation for getting people to be on your side about things too so you may like i don't know why it's only going to resonate for some of you but you may have younger siblings who you're there may be certain people that don't want you to influence your siblings to be a certain way like i get a lot of and this is only going to resonate for some of y'all but liberal energy even if you don't identify with being a liberal it's that vibe of like someone who is just completely going against the grain and getting other and it's fun energy too and it's like getting other people to agree with you here and yeah so that's not for all of you for sure but But I do feel um, a lot of people really enjoy their time with you. That, like you have the repu a reputation of like making situations very fun. Okay, I feel like people are just naturally drawn to you. But yeah, I also feel like you're somebody here. Like you have a very intense energy and you have very clear boundaries. But you're somebody that it will help anyone that needs your help. Like, of course, they're not going to overstep, you know, but like you're going to help anyone that needs it. You're going to be there for anyone that needs it. You're going to be there for your family members here. So 
sorry, these cards are like falling all over the place. Yeah, I feel like you're someone with a, a, a lot of discernment. People are intimidated by you for sure. Because it's like, if someone's trying to lie to you, you're asking questions, but that's just naturally how you are. It's like, what do you mean by that? Okay, well, what did you mean by this? Okay, well, what did that mean? Okay, well, what did, wait, can you repeat that? It's like, you just ask a lot of questions and you're looking in these people's eyes and you're using your intuition and you're using your discernment. And it's just like someone here that's just not, not here to play games. Like, I know that may sound corny, but. <laughs> It's not here to like, you have a lot of, oh, sorry for that. You have a lot of authority is the word. Too many cards. I just want one. But yeah, I really feel like you guys help people for sure. Because as I was saying that, as I was saying like with this card, I was talking about how you help others. This card came out and it says, be a leader. You can help others. So a lot of people fucking flock toward you. See how these are all birds, too, flocking toward this person? Like, I feel like you guys may have some sort of notoriety here, or you are you have a reputation for being, like, famous, or for being, like, really popular, or for being that person that everyone dick rides. I don't know why I heard that. Sorry if you guys don't like that word. <laughs> but, like, people may just be, like, soup. They want to kiss your ass, I feel. And some people may not like that. Some people may not fuck with that. Some people may be kind of jealous about that. But it's like just this powerful energy here, whoever you are. You guys could have could have a reputation for like getting in drama or getting into fights or getting into disagreements here. But it's because you just have a strong, like you, it's not even, I can say debates as well. Like you have strong beliefs, you have strong fucking viewpoints and you're gonna fucking speak on them some of you guys may have a platform because you um speak out about certain things or maybe that's just what you do on your social media even if that's not like the main your main like content that you make but again here there's so much stuff so so much about alchemy here so this card says getting to know the new you like i just feel like y'all just stop taking people's shit now and some of you guys now have a reputation for being like a little bit angrier or a little bit meaner or a little bit more like very quick like it can go zero to a hundred and i feel like this is like people know not to fuck with you people know not to do certain things like people know what limits like it's very clear what limits you have and it's like you have this reputation you're not one to be fucked with so even if that's like i will cuss you out bitch or if that's like i'll just remove myself like what do you want like but I feel like you guys have a powerful voice and you're going to use it and you speak up and you say what's on your chest. If there's something you need to say, you're going to say it. I do believe you guys are very wise though, regardless. You could be the type of person where it's like, I don't even think that it's fake, but like you're someone like, you're going to let people act stupid or you're going to let people do what they do, but you're going to be, the, you're going to be smart. Like, I don't think you're someone who's bougie. Um, you could be someone who likes to have a lot of fun with different types of people. You like to be around a lot of different types of people. You could be very popular. And it's like, if those people want to act foolish and act stupid and, like, do all this crazy shit, then that's on them. Of course, you don't act like that with your friends. I feel like you're very honest with your friends. But if these are acquaintances or people that you really don't, I don't know, you just let them kind of embarrass themselves. Like, I feel like you're, you're a free thinker and you just don't do the same things that everyone else does, so... You may like stand out when it com when it compared to all of these friends or compared to your family members here. Like these family members may make a, or friends as well may make a lot of stupid decisions. I don't even want to just call them friends because I feel like if this was a friend, you guys would definitely like tell them, hey, don't do this or don't do that. But this could be other people. But anyway, like you stand out. Like you're not acting dumb or acting foolish or getting yourself caught up and stuff. Like you have a you you have boundaries. Okay, so. Yeah, a lot of people look up to you. You guys have your own unique vibe, man. Like, you guys are really a leader. So, it's like, you get you handle things on your own, too. It's like, I don't know. You know those quotes where it's like, if you, if you, well, this is a very clear quote. I don't know why I said it like that. But if you need something done, you have to do it yourself. Like, I feel like that's the vibe that you guys have. But yeah, you're someone here that's very introspective. 
someone here that's very smart, someone here that has a lot of wisdom, that has a lot of discernment, and you just don't really put up with a lot of bullshit here. I also feel like you're very powerful, so you could have spirit guides around you. Some of you guys could have a temper. Too many cards came out, guys. I only take two or one. Some of you guys could have a little bit of a temper, though. Okay, so the first card is Capricorn, Full Moon, and Capricorn. We have Be Bold and Make the First Move. So I get a lot of earth energy from you guys, even if you're not an earth. One more card. Okay. So what am I seeing? What else am I seeing? Um, I feel like you guys are so, you have this reputation of like, almost having multiple sides to you though like yes you can have fun but like you're always and I, this isn't even in a bad way but you know that one person that's like oh my god i swear i'm gonna fail but like they know damn well they're not gonna fail it's like you have this really down-to-earth side about you but people know that you're very practical people know that you're very smart people know that you're very calculated and people know that like this like oh my god i'm gonna fail and all this is just a, a, a facade it's not like some of you guys may not say things like that but it's like you you like you're obviously very different than the people around you and so you may try to make other people comfortable i don't even think that you try to make other people comfortable but like maybe you just try to relate with them on that level but you know damn well that you're very different than them you know that you're way different than them yeah, we have this Libra energy, Moon and Libra, so you guys could definitely be very attractive here. But again, I, I see that, like, you guys could lose your temper quickly with people. You could lose your temper with people. You may not have time for people and their bullshit, I feel. Let's see what else. Ugh, I hate how these cards can get, like, these cards get on my damn nerves sometimes. I'm not joking. Some of these cards. Okay, so Queen of Cups is the first card that wanted to come out. Yeah, Queen of Cups has very addicting energy here. So, you guys may have a lot of people that just look on your social media. This could even be, like, platonic in, or in a way of, like, they're just admiring you, okay? You have a lot of people that, like, need your energy. Like, a lot of people that flock toward you. You have this reputation of being this leader, possibly in your family, amongst your siblings. I don't know if that's the case, but you really do stick out. And a lot of people, you're someone here that's like a guide for people, a friend that people can trust or like confide in. Like you're that person. So you have that reputation. Yeah, Seven of Wands though, I definitely feel like you guys do not play games. Like, wait, I'm hearing no new friends, no new friends, no new friends, no new even if you guys are like cordial and you're nice to people and you're open like you don't play those like oh yeah we're buddy buddy let's just be friends randomly like you guys are very discerning and i don't even think that it's trust issues it's just like you don't know someone then you don't know them and you're not about to like create friendships with random strangers or with people that are that you don't know yet <laughs> so Let's see what else yeah with this pisces and this freaking with this pisces and this uh queen of cups number one plus this libra energy you guys are definitely very attractive here a lot of feminine energy isn't that so weird the only cards that came out is the queen of cups plus the queen of pentacles and if you look on my last reading it was the queen of wands so so interesting how i know that most of my viewers are um, feminine energies but when i pull cards about masculines to see what's happening with the masculine when it comes to my love readings there'll only be male cards that come out which is so interesting okay so 
yeah with this energy that i'm seeing though um there's definitely multiple cards showing me that um you guys could have really alchemized some things like y'all could have really made some shit shake for yourselves you guys could be someone that is very powerful that has a lot of intellect to where it's like you're using your intellect possibly to create businesses or possibly to like i don't know what <laughs> something along those lines so it may not even be literally businesses but it's something like that where it's like this person has made some shit shake for themselves or this person has created all of these opportunities for themselves like this person you have this reputation of being like a wish fulfillment too like there's a lot of people that are like I i'm okay so it doesn't matter if you're a female or not a girl or not i hate that i just said female <laughs> what the fuck but you could be like a feminine energy regardless but it's like this person's wifey or this person is like you know what I mean? Like, it's like you, you're the entire, you have the reputation of being the entire package for a lot of people. Even if you guys spend a lot of time alone, it's just because you are very intimidating and a lot of people know that they do not have enough to offer. And a lot of people know that you're someone who has standards, who, is, who has clear boundaries, and your standards are high as well. People could be used to giving others like the bare minimum or they could be used to not really showing up for others, but you do not accept that. I feel like you're very smart in the ways that in which other people may not be. I don't even want to say other people. I don't even want to come down on other people, but I just feel like that's what other people like. That's what other people are thinking. So that's how I'm interpreting it. It's like there are, a lot of people are comparing you to others. Like they're just like and it may even be your family as well here, too. Yeah, but you have this reputation of being different than the others or like this one is doing this you know especially if it has something to do with family and like cousins and stuff like that or sisters or something here it's like look at what this person is doing or look at what this person has accomplished compared to y'all or compared to you or compared to whoever i feel like you're someone here you have especially because you have both of the alchemy cards coming out both of these cards are saying angel of alchemy plus the dress of alchemy so you guys have alchemized some shit you guys have made some things shake for yourselves possibly multiple times here and it could have been through meditation it could have been through spirituality but a lot of people do not recognize you a lot of people do not know you a lot of people are just like damn because it's not like you oh it's not just oh this person has become more attractive it's like this person has literally became the entire package has now shown the world, especially with this release your power, you've shown the world how smart you are, maybe not even the world, some of you guys, yes, I'm seeing something about social media, so, but you've shown the world how powerful you are, you've shown, um, you show the world how clear your boundaries are, you show these people how you don't play games, you have, like, this, this very, like, strong sense of self now very strong sense of self you've really changed and that's the reputation that you have you also have the reputation for changing others changing other people's minds here but yeah you're someone who's very attractive someone again <laughs> you guys may feel called to watch another pile if you did feel called to watch another pile then feel free to do so but um yeah you guys may have that midas touch type of vibe here but yeah the entire package that's what i'm seeing so if this resonated, comment the emoji on the screen down below. Thank you guys so much for joining me on yet another video. I'll see you guys in another video. Make sure that if you guys are interested in getting a personal reading, that um, click the link in my bio, like all the like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in another video or during another video. Bye. Hello. Last but not least, pile number three. We're just gonna get straight into this message and see what your reputation is these days. What is your reputation? What is pile number three's reputation? Okay, so what is your reputation? I feel like you guys have gone through a lot here, and I feel like a lot of people know about some things that have happened to you, so there's been some sort of, you guys can be too nice. Like, I feel like you have a reputation for being too nice. I feel like you've been walked all over in some sort of situation. There could also be something that you lost publicly, or some sort of, this could even be a court situation, but a lot of people do not think it's fair. A lot of people think that some of the things that, you, a lot of the things that you've gone through, it's just not fair. Okay, so in the past, you could have had a lot of bad luck, but a lot of people feel super sympathetic for you. 
like they feel like um I, I don't know I feel like a lot of people want to support you like it just seems like some of you guys this isn't for all of you but some of you guys you may never be able to catch a break like I'm getting that type of vibe where it's like damn this person like Jesus I feel like you're very sweet though like despite this it's like how <laughs> Um, you could also be around someone, so you may have this reputation for being around someone or having certain friends or a family member or even a boyfriend slash girlfriend that does not deserve you. Like there's, there could be someone that literally wants to pursue you, someone that wants to date you, that's like, you should not be around this specific person. And if it's not dating, then it's just like people watching you, possibly listening to someone talk back talk down on you or talk about you behind your back it could even be the person that you're dating but it's like um they're just like you don't deserve this like why do you keep being around someone that's so fucking disrespectful to you or whatever especially if it's family then it's like people know that you're going to be removing yourself from them for sure people know that you're going to remove yourself from those people or you're going to like Way. but yeah i feel like your kindness has really been taken advantage of a lot okay like very often but it's like how is this person so nice or how is this person so sweet still or like if he, some of you guys may not think that you're nice or sweet still but it's like yeah people still see that side of you regardless i feel like some some people want to support you some people may see you as someone who is hopeful, but they're just like, I hope that this person keeps that hope, or I hope that they keep the faith that they have. There's a lot of white rabbit stuff here. So you guys could have, could be in some sort of um, court situations often. This could be with family. This could be court situations with family often, or with someone that you've been in a relationship with. And it's just like, why are they, or it's like, why is this why is this always happening i'm not really sure here but there's just some sort of like i don't want to say it's drama because it could be a little bit deeper than just some petty drama but it's like um it's like damn like this person it's always something here or, or like they're always arguing with this person or it's always escalating to this extent is something that i'm seeing I do feel for those of you that um, that this is a family family member or this is like one of your family members that have hurt you. This could also be both. Some of you guys could have issues with boyfriends and with family members. But regardless, some of you guys do have a plan to remove or to get away from someone. For some of you guys, you could have had your reputation. So I didn't say this in the beginning, so I feel bad. But your reputation could be like, this stuff has already happened. You've already been hurt by these family members. You've already been... Um, experiencing this heartache and it's like this person cut themselves away from that or cut themselves off from that so yeah i think for most of you guys you actually could have cut your cut like removed yourself from these situations and removed yourself from these people for most of you, you guys probably have but it's like you have this it's been very dark whatever you've gone through it was very dark it was very like it was very dark Okay, but I'm seeing that it's like you, uh, you, you fucking came out of that for some of you, for sure. Some of you guys are getting your spark back. Some of you guys may be doing certain creative things now that you were not able to do before. I also see with this follow the white rabbit here, it's just like things guiding you away from this like darkness. Okay, so somebody, people could see you like in that light or like, again, there could be someone that helped you. This could be like, um official people as in people members of the state or something like that maybe that's for some of you um but it's like you guys receive that help as well so people see you as someone who's received some sort of help to get out of some very dark situation people see you as someone who's very sweet who did not deserve to go through that i feel like you may be trying to create some sort of plan now i feel like people you have a reputation of like despite all that you've gone through like still trying to create this new plan or still trying to create this new life or you're doing so right now there's more that has to be done for sure but yeah you're a huge inspiration for especially some people that have gone through this with you or other people other family members or other people that have been in types of relationships like this 
You could be an inspiration to those people. You may have that reputation of being an inspiration to those people. So let's get some more cards. See, I release negativity. So for some of you, again, this is you needing to cut those family members or get out of that very toxic relationship, or this is like you already doing so. Yeah, people really feel like you deserve like you deserve nothing but positivity right now. Um, people want to support you during this time, especially after you've gotten out of some sort of dark situation here. So this is like people wanting to give to you, people wanting to give you things, people feeling like you deserve this. People just really wanting to offer you a helping hand right now or just be care um, empathetic to you. We have Virgo coming out too, so. Yeah, I just think that some people see that there's been a toll that's been taken on you or like you've gone through some like heavy shit and it's like they just want to feed so much like you may have this reputation of underestimating yourselves and not seeing how amazing you are because of all this dark stuff people it could be older people people that are older than you that see you as someone who's hurt someone who's bruised someone who needs support someone who needs someone to be there for them um that's not for all of you this could be people of your past as well that still have this um, perception of you but um yeah, it's like people see, like, feeling so, like, almost, for some of you, your story can make someone literally cry, or has made certain people cry, and it's like, um, it's like people just want you to know how amazing you are for overcoming something, people just want you to know how, like, amazing you are, and, like, how this shouldn't have happened to you, how certain things shouldn't have happened to you, it's like, people see the good character that you have and it could be these family members or people from the past that did not see this or did not recognize this okay wait too many cards so yeah you guys are finding that start again you're finding that new start again I do feel like there's a lot of people that really want you because some of you guys may be a little bit pessimistic that's not for all of you okay some of you guys could be a little pessimistic where it's like people want you to feel good okay people don't want you to get hurt again too but yeah like you may have this reputation of not necessarily feeling good or not believing that certain things are possible or feeling like because of the cards that you were dealt because of the things that happened to you there's no way that something good is going to happen or there's no way that um there's no way that this can change or whatever but especially with this nothing is set in stone here these people there's some people around you that you have this reputation of being like someone who's kind of pessimistic but they like they want you to be more optimistic they want you to see how amazing you are they want you to see the worth that you have and i do feel that a lot of you guys are putting in this effort and you are trying to get up and like change things and find your spark and find your creation again and find your um find yourself again but sometimes you just go back to that place sometimes you find yourselves back to that place and it's like people just feel for you like your story is super impactful for a lot of people super inspiring and it's just like people just want to hug you people just want to like give to you i feel like a lot of people you have this reputation of um answering questions or people um just your story there's something here your story is your reputation but it's like a very impactful story that like has had a lot of dark things possibly in within the story as well you know i'm seeing though i'm seeing though like you're still a very good friend here a lot of people relate to you okay so you have this rep even though i know that in your past there could have been a lot of dark people and a lot of people that really were not for you and a lot of people that really did not care so much for you but these new energies that are around you these new people that are seeing you sorry that the music randomly got fucking loud but these new people that are seeing you and stuff it's like they relate so much to you they empathize so much with you you're truly and it's like some people are so like even though you have like you can be pessimistic when it comes to yourself you were truly such a light especially with this spark here and with this like you are truly a light regardless and it's like some people are just mind blown by this it's like what the hell like how is this person still 
inspiring others or how is this person still optimistic or how is this person still doing this or still acting like that that yeah but a lot of people they're just waiting until you fully step into your power here because right now you have this reputation of someone who is like i don't know why i'm seeing like a deer that like you know how when a deer or a horse is first getting up and first taking their the, the, those steps and their legs are wobbly like that's kind of the energy that you're in a lot of people see you in now but they know that you're going to grow into like some sort of like crazy freaking um horse or some shit that's like going after everything or just gonna attain everything or like or some people even want to help you get there. Okay, but yeah, you're someone who is very defensive, someone who's gone through a lot of dark stuff now. And now they just feel the need to defend themselves. And this could even be defend themselves against um, optimism. It's like you don't want to get your hopes up when it comes to certain things because you've been let down so much. But a lot of people, they just, they want you to understand that you're good enough for anything that you, you want to put out there. And I feel like there may even be some people that want to, um, pour positivity into you or pour more positivity into you but some of you guys not all of you keep in mind but some of you guys may be unreceptive at times people just want to give to you but yeah i feel like you're finding your spark back and that's really the main vibe so if you made it to this point comment this the emoji on the screen down below if you guys are interested in personal readings all that information is in the description box I hope you have an amazing day slash night slash afternoon. I hope all is well with you. Bye.